morning. Okay, so today is kind of a sad day. It is our last day, our travel day. We basically, our flight today is at 12.40 in the afternoon. So we really haven't had a chance to do anything other than just pack up and leave today. But we had an amazing trip. Did everybody have fun? It was great. It was, it was a amazing. Good time. Yes. Yep. <laughs> it was a fun trip. And yes, so today is the travel day, which is always sad. And I hate travel days home. But I realized, I think this is my, unless we sneak down in December, I think this is my last ever travel day as a Pennsylvanian, like going back home and leaving Disney World. Like now, like after this, every time that I would go back to Pennsylvania to visit you guys, it will be as a Floridian. So this is my, I kind of have to document this. It's very, very special. So yeah, usually I hate going home days, but this one's kind of kind of unique and special. And we have loved staying here at the Double Tree by Hilton Disney Springs. It was awesome. We loved having the one bedroom suite and how we could have here were the beds in here. Everything worked out really nice. Just the bathroom. <laughs> I'll have to link the first day when I gave more of a room tour, but over here. We love having this in the evening. We'd come back, we would hook up our laptop and watch YouTube. Oh, wait, we can't forget this. Our cord. Yes. <laughs> we always like to bring an HDMI cord so we can watch YouTube in the hotel room. And yeah, then we had over here. We had the kitchen over here. We would bring back, last night I had another one of those cupcakes from the Contemporary, which was excellent. The red velvet Mickey cupcake. And yeah, this was a very relaxing room. I liked it. And here was our view that we saw every morning as we headed to the elevators. We could see the Disney Springs balloon right there. Characters in flight. I always want to call it Flights of Wonder, but it's like, no, that's the show at Animal Kingdom. <laughs> front of the hotel we're getting ready to call an uber at the moment to take us to mco the orlando international airport and i think we may end up having a little bit of time at the airport we said maybe we'll go ahead and kind of explore around look at some of the shops and everything which usually we don't like have the time to do on our travel days we're usually are like you know giving ourselves more disney time but like with the way our flight was it was kind of weird like we really didn't have time to like go into a park disney springs or anything today so Yes, here was the Double Tree. We were really, really happy staying here. We love the Disney Springs hotels. The only thing this trip was the buses. I would love for them to bring back buses and then I could really recommend this as being like a perfect well, they have spot. They have buses, they but have it's you have to reserving them reserve it, time. yes. Yeah. And it does. there's not as much flexibility with when you can come and go. Like, you know, the Disney buses come every 30 minutes. It's like this, this used to be like that, but yeah, now it's kind of changed. So that's been the only thing, but Still, we made it work for us and we loved it. I just said, I'm so sad we're not taking our morning walk over to Disney Springs this morning. And it's like the most perfect weather. And I know when we go back home to Pennsylvania, it's not gonna feel like that. And I'm like, I just wanna go take that walk this morning. I'm excited to see what this hotel is going to be, the one that used to be the Best Western. I don't know if it's still going to be a Best Western when it's done, but it's going to be cool to see. They've been working on it this whole time we've been here. But here's the Uber. Never been that close to a plane coming in. My 
just have to pay a visit here to the weary traveler. <laughs> a lot of people actually think he's real. It's really funny to see the people's reactions who walk by and think that. Okay, so we made it through the whole bag drop off and everything and that was the most crowded and the longest we've had to wait ever. We probably waited well over maybe 25 minutes to drop our bags there at Southwest and it was just like so much confusion like we were getting misinformation of where to go. It was the most hectic I've ever seen in that gate area over there. Now we're getting ready to go through security. Oh, this is my favorite airport. I love MCO. It's definitely the cleanest, nicest airport I have ever been in. Okay, we made it through security. Now trying to catch the MCO monorail over to our Southwest gate. This is sad, but like I said, this is like my last time doing this <laughs> with the sad luggage. Yeah, sad luggage as we call it. Yeah, so it's just like the Magical Express, Tragical Express thing as people say. It's like it can, it's happy in the one direction and then sad in this direction. Unless you live here. Exactly, unless you live here. That's why this is my last time experiencing a tragical one. Mm-hmm. Now I like the way mom's thinking. She said, unless we come back for Christmas. That's why I keep because prefacing it with we, like... we start leaving, I already start planning the next yeah. trip. <laughs> I was actually thinking about for that. the next deal. <laughs> That's why I was prefacing this with, this might be my last time flying out. Might be my last time flying out of here as yeah, Pennsylvania yeah, because you never know. <laughs> I, I'm all for that. I think we should. Christmas week? Christmas week. Let's do it. Yes, there go all the happy people just starting their vacations. Have fun, have a magical time. And we get our bench, my favorite little bench. Look, well, I've seen alligators in here before. Hi. Yeah, they're in there. It's been a while, but I've seen, I've seen them in here. Yeah, I've seen them every day. Yeah, yeah, really? Matter of fact, there's a whole Here is the 50th special decorations. I love that they added this here in the airport. So just now we were on the monorail with an airport employee here and my dad was telling the lady, the really nice lady that we started talking to next to us, he was saying um, how he's seen alligators before in the pond there and then the employee, he was like, oh yeah, was just like, we see them every day. So yeah, there are, anytime you're on that monorail, keep an eye out because there are alligators in the waterways right here at the airport.
back in Pennsylvania. We have to do a very Pennsylvania thing. Even though we have these in Florida now, which has me very happy. <laughs> I'm still gonna have a Wawa. Did you win? Sweetie. Oh, mama missed the baby. <laughs> 